I want to talk to you guys today about something that you may not be doing. It's a really simple concept. It's a very simple tool, but it takes dedication to apply it to your life and apply it to your healing path. But it's something that I've utilized myself and continue to utilize to this day because to me, it is the number one thing that helps to sustain my healing path, staying forward in a trajectory that I know is going to serve my highest self. If you're new here, my name is Kristen Brown. I help people recover from people pleasing, codependency, heal from toxic relationships, how to set and maintain healthy boundaries. I talk about turning pain into power. And if it's something that sounds interesting to you, then I highly recommend that you hit subscribe and turn on notifications because you are in for an amazing ride. The number one tool that I believe is underrated and not used enough, and quite frankly, I don't hear it talked about in the world. I hear it a little bit here and there, but not in the context that I want to share it with you all. First and foremost, I want to commend you for being on the healing path. The fact that you found a video that talks about health, self-healing means you've either searched it or you're already subscribed to this channel or you've been on the healing path for some time and you're thirsty for knowledge, you're thirsty for information. And I will tell you something that that's how the job gets done. There's a lot of people out there that aren't even bothering. They've succumbed to the way their life is. They're bitter, they're angry, they're stuck, they're low vibe. They don't think life's going to get any better. But there's something inside of you, sacred rebel, that is saying, mm -mm, I'm not settling for status quo anymore. I've got to move forward. There's more inside of me. There's something else that is coming up for me. And I don't know what that is, but I'm going to aim for this no matter what. But the healing journey could be topsy-turvy and up and down and backwards and forwards, a couple steps forward, a couple steps back. Like It can be all over the place, but that doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. It might mean that you need this little tool that I want to share with you all today. And that tool is grace. Some people might think, Grace, Kristen, click out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. You don't have to stay. But those of you that stay is telling me something inside of you went, mm, yeah, I can feel that. Because you're already in touch with your higher self and there's something that's ringing true inside of you. It's like, mm. and that's that ringing truth that happens that leads us on our journey, that keeps us on our path. Because we will have one synchronized moment after the next where these ding, ding, dings happen, and we know that we are heading in the right direction. So let's talk about what grace is. The whole thing that we're healing here on this journey right now is we're healing hidden shame and unworthiness that was programmed into us based on the experiences that we had in our youth that gave us certain messages that were processed through the ego to make us feel afraid. These messages make us feel like we have to shift and morph and change and be something that we're not, it makes us feel like we have to over-accommodate other people and chameleon into spaces that is not our true authentic self. But you're healing this now, and this is why you are watching this video. But I want to ask you honestly, have you applied grace on your healing journey? You might be wondering what grace is or what my definition of grace is. Grace means being gentle with yourself. It means being kind to yourself. It means taking all that awesome, sweet, kind, loving energy that you have fractured out into the world as a recovering people pleaser and have accommodated all these people. Have you taken the time to turn that energy inward towards you? This is something that until you practice it, I cannot describe what it feels like. It's balmy. It's soothing. It's gentle. It's like wrapping yourself up in some sort of really soft material. Grace carries us. Grace supports us. Grace makes us feel like we're okay. The whole thing we're healing is our self-judgment. We think it's the judgment of others, but it's really the judgments we're carrying inside. And as we start to become more conscious and more aware of our journeys, of our thoughts, of our limiting beliefs, sometimes we want to judge ourselves even more. 
when is this going to be over? When is this going to be better? I can't believe I did this. I should have known better is something that many, many people say. Number one, you shouldn't have known better. You couldn't have known better or you would have done better. The second thing is our life is a healing journey. And you can get yourself up on top of the wave. The self-healing journey is a process. It's not one and done as much as we would like it to be. But you can get yourself to a place where you're more comfortable with the things that you are working through. People spend a lot of time, and I'm not dissing any of these things because these are all serving. Spend a lot of time journaling, meditating, taking walks, getting out into nature, grounding. People do other things like crystal healing and sound healing baths and all these type of things. But I want to ask you, have you taken the time to really sit with yourself in a quiet, contemplative space and given yourself grace? Told yourself that you're okay. Told yourself that you're safe. Told yourself that you're doing an amazing job and that you have your back. If there was ever an energetic re reset, it is self-grace and self-forgiveness. When you soothe yourself and say, I got you, and I unconditionally love you, no matter what stage of this journey you're on, we are in it arm in arm together, and I'm not letting go, and I'm believing in you. That could possibly be the balm to this angst that you're feeling on the healing path. If this at all resonates with you, then I highly recommend that you start implementing this on your self-healing journey. Grace, be kind to you, be gentle to you. And then I would love to hear how this starts to change your life. If you enjoyed this video, I super hope that you guys give me a really big thumbs up and don't forget to share with someone you love, but also to leave me a comment. I'm here for you. I'm on the journey myself, and we're going to do this. Give yourself grace. And until next time, everybody, remember, you matter. Now go love yourself.